Since first founded in 1973, Patagonia has grown to become one of the most respected and popular outdoor apparel brands in the world. The brand's priority of raising awareness of environmental issues and climate change can be seen through their products as they grow to be sustainably sourced and produced, appealing to environmentalists and people that enjoy an active and outdoor lifestyle. Recently launching their new workwear line made with innovative hemp fabric, the company claimed they approached the product with the mission statement of building the best product yet causing the least harm. By utilising their popularity and marketing methods, turning a creative idea into an innovative product that is accessible, affordable and environmentally friendly has in fact influenced the market environment and consumer behaviour today. So, what makes their product so different to other competing products? Good work in design is similar to good work in anything. It's measuring twice and cutting once and, and paying attention and making sure that you're solving a problem versus just making something new. And if you're doing it right and you're following your passion, it's a very fine line between work and play. Kind of the cornerstones were movement and abrasion in a work scenario. It's a little bit different than the lightest, fastest. It doesn't need to be that at all. You're grinding up against stuff and then movement. You gotta have total free range of movement. We wanted features as well that were very, very timeless in how you use stuff when you work, how your hand goes into pocket, how fasteners stay in there, how you keep your neck warm in a cold climate. To get industrial hemp back into the supply chain and back on people's back is incredible. Right from the beginning, it fits you, and we haven't done any washes or kind of pre-breaking in on that. It's just the nature of the hemp. We love hemp. <laughs> Why hemp? So hemp in general is a super interesting fiber from a lot of perspectives. It grows with little or no irrigation, it doesn't require pesticides, it doesn't require fertilizers. It can grow in different regions and different growing settings and is known to even improve soil health. So we love its environmental footprint. We also blended it with organic cotton and polyester, which allowed the weave to be tighter and denser to get the overall construction and durability that we were going for. From a materials team perspective, we approach every development with a mission statement in mind, building the best product, causing the least harm, and that guided our approach in choosing hemp and selecting the weave, the weight, and how we tested and vetted out the material. Our final cloth showed 25% higher abrasion resistance compared to anything else we tested in the market, so we knew we had a winner. We've been building stuff and beating the crap out of it and seeing what failed and, and improving it. And we really want to service that guy and gal who are getting after it and trying to make a difference through the use of their hands. The durable fabric is said to be 25% more resistant to abrasions than conventional cotton duck canvas, which is by far the most popular workwear fabric used by many competing brands. Nevertheless, after the completion of their innovative product, the company needed to utilize specific marketing methods to sell their product that will create value and build profitable customer relationships. The marketing concepts that the company took advantage of to suit their brand, product and values and beliefs was the target audience, branding, positioning and differentiation. Feeling a little overwhelmed? Don't fret, we will slowly begin to unpack these marketing concepts and how the company employed them. To begin with, segmenting and target marketing was effectively applied to their product where Patagonia chose the best and most appealing market segment to focus on. This is essential as not all consumers are the same and therefore they have different needs, behaviours or characteristics that influence buying. Hence, consumers can be grouped into categories based on geographic, demographic, psychographic and behavioural factors. Their product appeals to a psychographic audience which is the consumer's values and attitudes. Because the workwear line is eco-friendly and environmentally sustainable, this attracts a green audience. Additionally, Patagonia has marketed their line to a behavioural audience, which is how the consumer acts towards their usage rate and usage occasion of a product. This would be physical labourers because they believe the product is designed well, comfortably and long-lasting, and because the product will be worn regularly, however not purchased regularly. 
This is known as concentrated or niche marketing because only two special segments have been served. The green aspect of the product being environmentally sourced and sustainable has been ignored by competitors, making it unique, appealing and innovative. For example, Patagonia essentially targeted the concentrated audience that appealed to the workwear line through their catalogue, videos and their online website. By the use of images of labourers working hard whilst wearing their line, it connects and associates with the targeted consumers and potential customers to a deeper level. Rather than just displaying images of simply the jacket or the pants, which competitors may do, these images help create a relationship and therefore effectively impacts on buyer behaviour. For this reason, marketing, prog marketing programs will be customised to suit and appeal to the segmented consumers being targeted and in turn, this will generate consumer value and a profit that will hopefully be sustainable for the company. The second method that, that will be unpacked that the company has utilised is the concept of branding. A brand is defined as a distinctive element of a product that identifies it and sets it apart from competition. There can be three different types, awareness, salience or emotion that build a personality out of the product to appeal to the target audience. Branding adds value to a product in many ways. It provides legal protection from other competing brands so that the unique features may not be copied. The name and what it stands for about the quality and consist consistency of the brand also creates value as it contributes to the segmented and target audience as well as attaching meaning to the product that the, con that the customer can create a relationship with. With that being said, Patagonia has developed attributes to the branding of their workwear line and this has created brand equity. As mentioned earlier, the use of storytelling about brand history and everyday work is in their catalogue and on their website creates a personality that attaches customers. As a focus point in their workwear catalogue, the Ironforge hemp canvas material components and why it's sustainable prominently stands out. At the bottom they have a historical timeline to foster an additional relationship with the customer and as you turn over the page there is a personal story provided by a physical labourer and the following page shows images of the labourer working hard and wearing one of the workwear jackets. This creates a deep and personal connection between the brand and the consumer, luring them in and retaining their loyalty for the long term. Additionally, they are 100% for the planet philosophy stating Build the best, best product, cause no unnecessary harm, use business to inspire and implement solutions to the environmental crisis, is advertised heavily and sets the brand apart from competitors, demonstrating that their brand has thought and meaning to it, and meaning to it which appeals to consumers. Their president of global marketing, Joy Howard, explained, Product is always at the foundation for us and we have a very obsessive commitment to making the best product. People come into the brand through the product, but it takes them a long time to learn about what the company stands for. Once they do, they're hooked on, on the brand forever. So as a marketing team, the task is very simple, and that's to make it easy for people to discover what the company is all about and make sure it's not hidden and tough to access, because once they do know, they're in. They're with us. This approach to marketing has proved highly accessible to Patagonia and their workwear line. They have developed a brand image in relationship with customers, that has meaning and is for the planet, rather than, rather than competitors that may just sell workwear with no meaning, purpose or cause. This branding that the company has established similarly correlates with the marketing concept of positioning. A product's position can be defined as a consumer's perceptions, impressions and feelings that they hold with the product in comparison to competing products. Therefore, this is not always dependent on the marketer. However, why leave a product's position up to chance if you could influence it? And that's exactly what Patagonia has done. By analysing the specific target market, the psychographic and behaviour segments in Patagonia's case, and the consumer's buying behaviour within these, marketers will plan the positions that they want to withhold in the customer's mind to add value and influence buying behaviour. As mentioned previously, Patagonia has used many methods in doing so. This includes the storytelling, historical timelines and documentaries that they have uploaded to their website promoting the workwear line. It connects with the audience at a deeper level, visually showing you what they're all about, meeting the workers and hearing their stories, why they love the brand and product and even some of their history, showing you where they've sourced their fabric from and overall convincing the consumer that Patagonia's workwear is the right choice for them. 
This then differentiates them from competitors, which is another marketing concept utilised by Patagonia. Differentiation is when the company decides on how it will create not only a purpose, but a value for customers, a value proposition. In doing so, the firm will differenti differentiate its market offering from competitors' offerings to develop a superior customer value. This is where Patagonia diverged to being 100% for the planet, compared to one of their biggest competitors, the North Face, who do not have this aspect to their brand. Whilst sustaining customer loyalty as an advantage, the work they put into the product proved valuable because customers appreciate the value that it serves. Patagonia, being one of the world's most leading innovative brands, most definitely understands the marketing environment and effective methods to engage customers in order to build relationships and create value so that, in return, they too can occupy value. Their workwear line is an excellent example of an innovative product where the company has used numerous marketing concepts to create customer value and build profitable relationships. Studying, segmenting and targeting specific groups of people that best suit the delivered product will serve great advantage to the company if applied correctly. Patagonia has achieved the application of these concepts and furthermore, executed the methods of positioning and differentiation where branding will also be implemented. This creating an interpersonal relationship with Patagonia as a brand to likewise create customer value that in the long term serves many benefits for all environments.